You probably treat discipline as this abstract thing which you just can't seem to improve. You have all these ambitions. You want to get to peak physical performance? You want to get grades superior to all your classmates and make your parents proud? You want to earn money and retire your loved ones? But still, no matter which motivational video you watch or how desperately you want to succeed, you just can't get yourself to consistently do the hard work. What you lack is discipline, but the good news is that neuroscience shows that willpower is anything but set in stone. In this video, you will learn about which brain structure is responsible for your discipline and how to make this structure literally increase in volume. After that, we will talk about the mindset side of optimizing discipline. So, what brain structure am I talking about? It is the anterior mid-cingulate cortex which we can quite confidently identify as the hub of willpower in the brain. Quite excitingly, this brain area is highly subject to plasticity which means that there are specific things we can do to increase its activity and size. Now, before we talk about how to increase the volume of the anterior mid-cingulate cortex, let's just quickly clarify the foundations of discipline. Willpower is highly connected to your current autonomic function, so for enhanced discipline, a good quality sleep is vital. Moreover, if you are in physical or emotional discomfort or in a distracted state, it becomes exponentially harder to be disciplined. To improve these foundations, my videos on sleep and meditation could be helpful. Autonomic health and autonomic function is so important for our ability to engage in willpower because the neural circuits of the autonomic nervous system provide direct and robust input to the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. So, let's talk about tools to increase the volume and activity of the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. Doing regular cardiovascular exercise or weightlifting could be one option. However, this is only true for you if you don't like doing these activities. If you really love going to the gym, then there will be no activation of the anterior mid-cingulate cortex. The same holds true when talking about things like cold showers. A very practical way to increase your willpower, even when doing activities which you like, is to incorporate micro-challenges. So things that require getting over some friction. In the context of weightlifting, this could mean to do an extra set at the end of a session. A different example could be to not look at your phone during breaks between sets if that is something you usually do. You can get creative here. A high friction task you can do right now is to go back to the start of this video and rewatch everything. Lastly, you can make the process of training your willpower easier by occasionally rewarding yourself after doing the hard and uncomfortable thing. This reward serves as positive reinforcement, signaling to your brain that engaging in difficult activities leads to pleasurable outcomes. Over time, this association strengthens, making it easier to tackle challenging tasks in the future. Okay, now that we have talked about the neuroscience side of this discipline and willpower protocol, I think you are going to get a lot of value out of optimizing your mindset. First, visualize how you would look like if you had the willpower of a machine. What does your day look like? How do you look? What do you eat? Think of any details that would help you to describe that disciplined version. After you have painted a clear picture, reinforce the idea that you are this person. You can do that with visualizations or just with mantras. Do not underestimate the power of your perceived identity. People like Cristiano Ronaldo or Michael Jordan didn't get to the top and then cultivated a winner mentality. They cultivated the winner mentality and then got to the top. Visualization, and in particular negative visualization, is a great tool to leverage when it comes to optimizing for willpower. If you really don't want to study, vividly imagine how you will feel on the day you get your grades. Ask yourself if you think that skipping that study session feels good enough to justify the pain and disappointment. I also posted a guide to visualization if you want to go deeper into this topic. Now, I am going to give you an opportunity to train your anterior mid-cingulate cortex, or in other words, your willpower. In a few seconds, the music will stop and a black screen will appear. You will obviously immediately get the impulse to click off the video, but going against this impulse is going to activate your anterior mid-cingulate cortex and act as one of these micro-challenges. Use the 30 seconds productively by trying to recall what you learned in this video. This is also going to train your memory. Remember to not be too hard on yourself if you don't last the whole 30 seconds. 